Uncharted 3, Question Difficulty and Treasure Guide, uh, Chapter 9, The Middle Way, Part 2. So, we have to deal with these spider bugs or whatever. Uh, so we have to use the torches as grenades to launch them. That second one is so annoying because there'll be plenty of times where it looks like you're aiming perfectly at it but when you throw the torch it doesn't uh, it doesn't land inside uh, the area to light it uh, it will either bounce off the the metal framing of it or it just won't even go by it so I've actually had to repeat this section several times because the the mechanic of the torch hitting that second one was so broken for me. I don't know. It might have been just me, or it just might be that particular angle that you have to get it to is kind of kind of screwy at points. I don't know. So. Get on the other crank. Help me open it. And then you can kind of see in the background, you can see the treasure kind of sparkling. But uh, you can't get to it until you release the water. Uh, and I've never had it happen on the first time I played and then this time. of You have to shoot it, but you have to be below it. Uh, you can't just shoot in and dive in to pick it up. Um, you have to be right under it when you shoot it so you can pick it up. Uh, I was trying to see if I could jump towards it and get the prompt. But, so, just get as close as you can right under it and just mash uh, triangle as soon as you shoot it. Um, just to be sure that you actually do pick it up. Okay, one more. And I don't remember if I right, mentioned it on a previous video, but I'm doing this crushing guide on a new save file. So, uh, just like the previous Uncharted games, uh, it gives you the option on a new save file if you want to carry over the treasure you've picked up. And I selected not to carry them over just so I can have all uh, 100 treasures and the strange relic to actually pick up for this guide. So it's not like some games where you pick up a collectible and then it's lost forever. You can never find it again. Um, but once you... Uh, open up that second gate you just have to go into the motion of rotating this uh, this globe uh, the area you need to get it to uh, those two white dots um, at the top and bottom those are easy indicators to figure out where you need to roll the globe to and the game decided I was close enough to the section that it auto-corrected the positioning, the position of the globe to make it match up. So I got somewhat lucky there that I didn't have to uh, deal with trying to turn the thing just enough for it to match up. So uh, there's. The last treasure to pick up uh, after you get to the top of the stairs. And then I cut out the giant long cutscene after it just because it's it's really boring. Alright, we're looking for a knight's tomb. Just like we found in France. 
If my hunch is right, he'll be buried with the other half of our amulet. 